on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Man, first. T, T, T. Go on. That shit don't say no T. That shit said Lady Sum. Okay, Lady Mogulet. If that's the name you want to right. I, I gave you my name, but if you, you want to keep it in personal, no problem. I was giving you, you know, that's fine. First Timothy, chapter two. All right. He just wants you to address her properly. She... Oh my God. How hard is that? She's don't be, don't baby. be, don't, don't get debunked. Go on. I'm listening. Go on. Go on. I'm listening. You asked us to be quiet. Go ahead, sir. I like that. But listen to this, though. No, what I'm saying is, y'all made me forget my point. Fuck it. I'm gone. I'm going to bed. All right. So back to, to back to what I was saying. She literally made me feel like I was under attack. I'm not going to hold you. I can own it because literally it's like you're naturally a certain type of way and some men don't necessarily, and yes, I've been, I've been engaged more times than I'd like to admit. Up to the possibility of talking to somebody? Absolutely. Yeah. When I feel like, and the other thing is I know I'm in a selfish space right now because I broke off an engagement last year. So I, I'm in a space where I'm happy not feeling, ob like I said, because I know how I am in a relationship. I, I'm happy now after having gotten out of that relationship, not feeling obligated to operating in that space of being quote unquote subservient, right? Which is what it sounded like she was be she was calling a pick me or being submissive. I'm sorry, what was that? If you don't mind me asking, why did you break off the engagement? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I'm just asking. Since um, you it. Let's just say if I'm taking accountability for my actions, I enabled some behaviors in him that I realized wasn't something I wanted to commit to for the rest of my life. In a nutshell. You Okay. Yeah, so with that being said, um, the whole pick me concept, sometimes it comes across as though it's coming from women that don't Bellas. necessarily like the fact that there are women that are willing to do for their men what they don't necessarily want to do because they feel like there are men out there that are willing to accommodate because there are men that like the quote unquote bitches that like put them in their place and 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 like are like you know, um, the quote unquote mean girls, right? So then on the other side of that, like it's, it's, it's a lot of pushback. No, they don't. Don't ever believe it. Don't ever believe that there's a man that like that. There are men oh, no, that there are like men that. They there like are that definitely men that no, no, like no, that. No, no, there no, are no, men no, that no, find no, that no, adorable. No, I'm no, dead no. serious. Listen, like, listen, listen. listen. Those, those, those men don't Can't like see. that. They subject themselves to it because they don't feel like they have any other choice. Let me tell they you don't something. like it. Just because it happens does not mean that they like okay, it. Okay, let me change my no, version. Maybe they don't like time. it, but it's their norm and they're not used to their being. Okay, but I just wanted to correct that. Just because like, they subject themselves to it or they weak or they do this happy wife, happy life thing or whatever, so on and so forth, and whatever the circumstances that. is, whatever it is, it's they don't chaos want is their that. norm. Don't, if, no guy, just no like there man. Are women that it doesn't feel like matter what a man does. Don't listen, listen. Abuse them. Regardless of what his circumstance is, whatever they don't love them. It's regardless of what his circumstance is, is no man I'm wants to you. be emasculated and treated like a sucker by the chick that he lay next to every night. That's not Anton, true. Anton, I have to agree because we've had men on the late lives saying they like that toxic type of relationship. It's out there. Like, yeah, like, 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 no, 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 don't necessarily mean that's the thing that they desire. No man wants a toxic woman. That don't even make sense. They may thrive in toxicity because that's what they used to. They don't know any better. That's all they've known for the entirety of their relationship or the time that they've been dating. No man wants a toxic woman just inherently. No guy goes out and looks for a toxic woman. That doesn't make sense. I think I think the ladies confusing it because they getting fucked. And a dude, uh, uh, I'm just saying that that's a dude to smash 
a toxic chick. A dude will <laughs> accept that. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I'm laughing at Jr. He was doing the clapping. Oh, they accept the booty cheeks and a hot bed from the toxic <laughs> chick. Because the reason that she's toxic mm-hmm. is because he's allowing her to do that. And you got to ask yourself, why is he allowing her to be toxic? It's because she probably bringing more to that relationship than he is. And I'm telling you. And then guess what? Soon as he get a good job, soon as he get another job, soon as he can get his own house, he got to drive your car, you been replaced. You know what I'm saying? But I want to answer this pick me shit, though. Fuck all that. I mean, look. <laughs> the pick me is crazy, though, right? Because, see, the thing is, is a woman should be a pick me. That means she got an understanding of what she need to do for that man. She understand whether you said the whole pick me concept. That means she understand exactly what she need to do. She understand what he want. If it's fake, time will reveal it and he'll dump up to the curve. On the other end, the problem with the pick me's is a lot of time women be picking the wrong dudes. And they become a pick me for the wrong dudes, and then the dude will do the same thing. He will go over and he will he will run your ass over to say, just like I use the same analogy. If a chick is a pick me for a nigga that she's doing everything for, she knows she got that leverage. So she's gonna be that toxic female. And then as soon as he move up, get his bag, he's gonna drop her to the side. But all women should strive to be a pick me. All women should strive to find that man and say, what that man like? He like to do this. He like this. He like, say that again. I said, find a man. He should be finding you. No, he I'm saying. He is the one auditioning, not you. No, listen to what I'm saying, sweetie. That is how marriage works. I'm and he not has to saying, prove it to I'm your father saying. and your family that he's working. Hey, Kay, Kay, listen, Kayla, what I'm saying is she should find that man, not going out and search her. Like she shouldn't just do this for everybody. But the thing is, and another thing you said, you said them wifely do this. I have to disagree. Them womanly do this. Because at the end of the day, if you classify these things as wifely do this, and you say, I'm going to be absolutely toxic towards everything else. Like I'm not going to do this and this and this and this. You put yourself on limits of that. He going to limit himself on your ass too. So what do you mean by womanly duties? Because by wifely duties, I mean doing your laundry, cleaning your house somewhere I don't live, like doing things that wives do. So womanly, womanly, I agree. But wifely duties, I don't think you should be doing no man's laundry. That's not your man. But that's not true. I had a chick come over my house and she see my laundry need to be done. She'll do it. Where's she at? She gone, right? She not here. What? Not with her. That didn't get her pick, did it? Not Listen, for nothing, though. Yeah. That's the point that she did make. <laughs> well, no, I felt well, the tag well, low key. Like, like, I got a flight. Dudes but be look. taking it, taking advantage of that. Like once they see and, that and you're yeah. good and you're a good woman and you're really selfless and you're willing to do certain things naturally, because that's okay. Just, so wait, she wait, said wait. it. She said it. Like she literally was. She literally was. Well, baby, baby, that. baby, baby. Can I finish what I was saying T, first? T, T, T. Go on. That shit don't say no T. That shit said Lady Sum. Okay, Lady Mogulette. If that's the name you want right. to get, I gave you my name. But if you, you want to keep it in personal, no problem. I was giving you, you know, that's fine. First Timothy, chapter two. All right. She just wants you to address her properly. She... Oh, my God. How hard is that? She's don't be, don't baby. be, don't, don't get debunked. Go on. I'm listening. Go on. Go on. I'm listening. You asked us to be quiet. Go ahead, sir. I like that. But listen to this, though. What I'm saying is, y'all made me forget my point. Fuck it. I'm gone. I'm going to bed. All right. So back to to back to back what I was saying. She literally made me feel like I was under attack. I'm not going to hold you. I can own it. Because literally, it's like you're naturally a certain type of way. And some men don't. And yes, I've been, I've been engaged more times than I'd like to admit. 